Hey, Amy. Hey, you did. We're gonna do some astronomy. I love astronomy. I want to. <laughs> really hard. We're going to do the easiest thing you can do in astronomy, and that is look at the moon. Hmm, it's big. It's this, is, this is my AstroScan <clears throat> telescope. It looks like a chimney. Yeah, I'm going to give the old up and down. Hmm. All right, we're back. Good times. Yeah. So it's a reflector. <clears throat> so the light goes in here. Mm -hmm. See if you can shoot right down. Yeah, you see that mirror in the back? It hits a mirror back here. It comes up to the secondary mirror and then out through the eye. <laughs> so it's a heavy. So it's a it's a Newtonian reflector. But I got a new toy. The problem with astronomy, the difficulty with looking up at the night sky. Mm -hmm is that you are limited by what you can see by your own eyeball. Because our eyeballs aren't great. No. They're not terrible. They're not great, especially for astronomy. So, we use telescopes. That aperture, while not large in terms of telescopes, is much larger than the diameter that my pupil can dilate. Let's compare. Yeah. Bigger. It's bigger. Yeah. Bigger than my head. So it can get more <clears throat> light in it. It is a light bucket. And you can buy various sizes of bucket. And mm -hmm. the larger the aperture, the more light that you capture. Then it comes through the eyepiece. Where again, the limiting factor is the human eye. Is the human eye and <clears throat> I guess our visual cortex and our ability to process. Right. And, um, and your personal eye in particular. I don't know. So one thing that's a little bit better than my eye at seeing things is the camera on my phone. So I put my phone onto my eyepiece with this little guy that was like 20 bucks on Amazon. And as you can see, since we're in the light, the eyepiece is getting light from the room and you can see that I've got it nice and centered. So we will just stick the eyepiece in and then point the telescope at the moon and see what we can see. Sounds like a plan? Fancy. Yeah. And this is not a telescope that you can see much more than the moon and planets with. You can get bigger telescopes and see nebulas that are within our galaxy and you can see even other galaxies. Which is crazy. Yeah. Um, but... <clears throat> You can't see any of them as well as a camera can. And if you've ever seen Hubble photos, it, do not expect to see them that detail. Like we're not going to be able to do color. that this with my, with, right. my, with my phone camera and this uh, chimney. I mean, the really cool pictures of like nebulas where you get a ton <clears throat> of different colors, it's yeah. because people have filters that are looking for hydrogen signatures, yeah, oxygen signatures. It's all and, artificial colors. Well, for the most. But they can pop things out. You yeah, can and it see looks oxygen structures that are back there in a sea of yeah. hydrogen. You're not going to see that with this. I'm excited about James Webb. So excited. That's so going to be... Oh, excited. It's going to be bright. So my instinct that I've had for years of I could do better astronomy with a better telescope, which is true, but I can't afford like a James <clears throat> Webb situation, <laughs> but I am a taxpayer, so they're going to let me see some of the pictures. Yeah. So I'm pretty happy about They that. better tweet that out. Oh, is all I know. It's going to be epic. Um, and yeah. And, I, and then I'll get, then I'll get this out just to double check it. Yeah. I mean, you know, NASA. Got to keep an eye on. All right. So we're going to go shoot the moon. Not literally. With the camera. It won't explode. If it does, it we, we didn't do it. The camera. Okay. Bye. Photography. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and well, time to record this. Okay. Yeah, because seeing you is not really an option. Yes, that's perfect. All right. Although I don't know how well it's translating. Oh, it's not focusing. Okay. We'll know when we actually watch the video. Yeah, I just. I just. I mean, it looks. 
I'll, I'll just assure everyone in, in, in real life it looks amazing. It's like I'm watching an episode of Star Trek where they go past the moon. Look at that! Take a photo. And it looks really good. Ah! Whoa. Yeah, that's the problem. Maybe the moon moved and not the camera. Mm-hmm. Moon's going at quite a clip, <laughs> given the rotation of the I mean, earth. it is. <laughs> this motion sickness brought to you by the Taylor and Amy Show. Focus. Mm. Not you. Yes. No, I'm. I'm speaking. Look at that. That looks good. I'm gonna... Yeah. No, I'm bringing it in, and I think it is working, so you can see it pretty well. Also, to be meta, I'm videoing it on the phone. So we can maybe put that video in. The video of the video. My point, exactly. That's good. Everything is awesome. All right. That's... Also, to be meta, I'm videoing it on the phone. Man. So we can maybe put that video in. The video of the video. My point, exactly. That's good. Everything is awesome. All right. That's the one. We can show what this looks like more in the light later.